Mara, I hail you now out of necessity of the heart. Else I feel as though I will burst into solar flame. Long have I admired you from afar, ever since you graced me with your power and benevolence in the Reef Wars. Not a day goes by without me thinking back to the time you bade me repay that debt to you. How we spent hours together, long into the night. Would that you spirit me to your side again, to serve as your consul, your knight, your humble vessel, anything to be near you. I beg you to grant me an audience once more. Please give me the gift and the privilege of basking in your favor. For without you, I shall wither and crumble into dust to be scattered across the cosmic winds. This again? You and I both know he sounds nothing like that, Riven. <laughs> Perhaps I should use a voice with which you are even more intimately familiar. How about... Do not speak her name. As you wish, O oh Majesty mine. You've returned. Would that the Queen's witches had your punctuality, O oh Warden Mine. The Tekians have started work on the Lodestone, but they can't finish it without help. I would love to find amusement in their inadequacy, make a meal of it. However, the task of helping those who can't help themselves has fallen on your shoulders again. Something of the Ahamkara in you, perhaps. The Lodestone must be attuned to the confluence, like teaching a compass where north lies. I've simplified, of course, for your sake. The calibration will take some time. Should I pray for you to make it out alive? The Techians are in final preparations for the Lodestone. Your work in its calibration was invaluable. It will serve as a beacon for the Queen to make contact with her personal Harbinger. She'll commune with it, ask it to guide the remainder of the Clutch back to us. It's the last of its kind, and it's good to see a Harbinger, normally a weapon of war, used for diplomacy, even with Riven. In the past, the pinnacle of the Spine of Caris provided the open sky the Queen needed for this communion. It will suffice again. But the Taken can test that region, as they have since Riven's curse rang out. They will hinder your every step. So cut through them, secure the Spine, and the Queen will do the rest. You'll find two ogres within, Guardian, as all Guardians have since the curse began. All across this region, the Corsairs remain as well. Reliving this nightmare is a matter of course, as we've been backward to aid the Ahamkara that unleashed this. One crisis at a time, my wrath. Yes, my queen.
Well struck. The observatory is secure. Sadia and the Techians are now free to signal my Harbinger. We'll use it to pull the clutch within our reach. The Harbingers once aided the Awoken against the likes of the Taken King. But your actions today shall allow a Harbinger to aid in diplomacy. For perhaps the first time. Even if it is with an enemy of the state. Just the same. All things are handled here, Guardian, thanks to you. I need your strength elsewhere. The next egg should be coming into range. Mara's seeing to the Harbinger. We'll cover you on this one. Guardian, I'm seeing a lot of Scorn activity ahead. I doubt they understand what it is we're after, but they'll get in our way all the same. Such callousness toward your creations. I suppose they have a new master now. I understand the Queen's reluctance, but you've done the witnesses' bidding before. Why not again? Kill my friends to bring on the final shape? No thanks. A wish to end suffering. You made such a wish once, and brought about so much death. You know that wasn't what I wanted. You should have been more careful with your words. Enough! It's done! The Queen is waiting. I heard you over the comm channels. I am sorry that we are forced to entreat with Riven. She and I have our own histories to navigate, but what she did to you... How she wormed her way into your mind? That was inexcusable. It pains me to put you through this. Even after all that's happened, you still think I need to be protected? No, that is not. It's all right, Mara. I understand. We've always shared a connection. Even when you were lost in the Ascendant Plane, I could still feel your presence. Your heartbeat. I knew you weren't truly gone. Riven was only able to manipulate me because of how strong our connection was. Is. I've made choices I'm not proud of. But I'll never apologize for the reason I made them. It's the same reason you reach out even now when, when you see me struggling. You're my sister. Nothing can break that bond. Not death, not riven, not even the light. Like Aegir and Rhaegar, finding each other in the storm. <laughs> yeah, well... All that we've been through... That's no fable. We stood together as the world collapsed around us. And we'll stand together again. Guardian, I'm afraid progress is slow. The Veil is a clever tangle in and of itself. It reforms as the consciousnesses connected to it ebb and flow. 
They rush in, awash with dreams and wonder, and then drain away. I believe that once I understood the veil, mechanically, once I understood Strand, that I would see its patterns with new clarity. That has not happened. This is not like charting a course through the currents of a sea or the depths of space. It is an architecture defined by how we intend to imagine it. Not dissimilar to the Ascended Plane. But if more like its opposite. The Ascended Plane mirrors aspects of our world, aspects of will and import to those who traverse it. Those aspects are decided upon through our actions. The veil, conversely, weaves not with our will, not our decisions, but with intent, unfiltered by logic. What we feel, not what we decide. Mapping such a thing would be like rebuilding a creature from the calcified remains we found aboard the pyramid ships. They are an image of a dissection, a deadened echo of existence. But to look at them as they are, to see their disparate parts. Even understanding their anatomy does not give us the knowledge to make them as they were. I will continue to seek the path the witness forged into the Traveler. But I am no longer confident that it could ever be walked again. Riven may be our only option. wish to be closer with their family. The absent and the estranged cause rifts in a person's psyche. I hear them even now. Let me speak to my father again, one last time. Let my daughter see me for who I am. One of the stranger human impulses, don't you find? Above all, Ahamkara want to feed, to drink deep of the gulf between desire and reality. Other Ahamkara are competitors for limited resources, not allies. The only exception is a mate. Sometimes we reach beyond ourselves. Perhaps if we stood by one another more, we'd have survived the great hunt. If we were a little more... human. But that bargain is not within our natures to make. <laughs> <laughs> 